Our first song goes out to a very special writer named M.A. Larson, who may have seen him around. This song is for him. Andrew Francis, Brenda Critchlow, Mark Oliver, Sam Vincent, who plays Flim on My Little Pony. I play Shining Armor, Twily. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I play Gustave Legrand on My Little Pony. I'm Zakora. So, um, what was going through your mind when you were casted for My Little Pony? Well, I was thrilled, and um, uh, it was quite the process to, to get the part. I mean, it kind of metamorphosed working with the director and, you know, to find the character and find the voice. It's such an incredible high to know that you are going to participate in a show as iconic as My Little Pony. Uh, it exists out there, but you think it's a world that will never really touch you in any way, shape, or form. And then the day arrives, and you try to prepare as best you can. So, uh, I don't know, it could just a lucky coincidence, the right person at the right time, in the right place. I was thrilled. Um, well, I, I had known uh, the brand My Little Pony for quite a while. Um, I had no idea that it was going to be such an insane hit like it was. Um, went in for the audition, got the breakdown for the character. I uh, decided to do a very genuine, um, a little bit surfer kind of voice for the role. I thought maybe he'd just have a, a little cool edge to him. And uh, went into the audition and was uh, very surprised and delighted that I got the part. Yes. I thought to myself, my gosh, this is an extremely long song. I hope I can learn it in time for the record. Um, actually, when I, when I first heard the song, I was uh, really uh, happy because it was... Uh, homage to Music Man. I don't know if you were aware of that. Um, and uh, well, I guess everybody's aware of that now. But anyway, yeah. So it was it was an exciting chance to do kind of like a musical theater type piece, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. So I was very excited. Hello, Pinky. Back off, Pinky. This is my interview.
this is this is the flag of the Bronies of Northern California, and uh, it's it's been to a lot of conventions lately. The Las Pegasus Unicon, and as you can see, it's been signed by plenty of people. Uh, right there on the red star is Lauren Faust's signature, and um, lots of people have signed this flag. It's been, it's also been to Everfree Northwest, uh, EQLA. Has it been to any Brony Cons? Still hasn't been to any Brony Cons, but um, now it's been to Las Pegasus. Anything you want to say, Ohad? Well, the basic idea that we did with the flag is that we decided that pretty much everyone who's a regular Brony from California signs on the white part of the flag. We get. We gave Andrea the honor of signing the Fluttershy Vector. She chose to, to sign the tail. Finally, at EQLA, I managed to get Lauren Foss to sign the star. And over here, we got we got almost all of the we got all the main six. We got Zakora, we got Dusty Cat, pretty much all the artists, musicians, and all the all the important people in the fandom and beyond. Kind of like this differentiation and variation of the flag so that everyone will know what's up with it. Hi, I'm here with uh, Cyril the Wolf. It's Cyril the Wolf, but hello. Hi, I'm A-Star, I'm a brony musician, and I'm here at Unicon. Taps. He is a brony musician here playing at Unicon. Aviators. So, um, what inspired you to first start making music? Uh, well, at first it was uh, video game music, probably. Video game music first inspired me. I really, um, really dug, like, I played video games a lot, so, and then I heard Final Fantasy VII's boss music, which reminded me a lot of my favorite song when I was five, which was For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. Uh, I was just bored one day, and I started making music. Well, pretty much after listening to a little bit of The Living Tombstone and Mike the Microphone, and af actually after watching uh, Brony Dance Party's animations, the first ones he introduced, that really got me inspired to go ahead and jump into, uh, you know, the whole music area, the fandom, and, well, it's really interesting, and it was really inspiring. Hey, uh, coming to you from uh, Unicon, first uh, convention I've ever been to, and the first time it's ever been run. Uh, my name's Firebrand Kun. Uh, this is the first time for me to ever try and actually sell something at a convention, and uh, this has been a blast. I've loved it. Um, I've met a lot of cool artists. Um, I've seen a lot of fun faces. Uh, cosplay has been a blast. Um, just, just seeing all the people having a great time has just been awesome. And uh, for a first opportunity for me to make a little money on my art is fantastic. I love it. And I've only been doing art for My Little Pony for about eight months, but it has been awesome. Brony community is excellent. Uh, the people I've met are all friendly. They're all nice. I've yet to meet anybody that I didn't like or they didn't like me. So it's just been awesome. And I, <laughs> Bronies have really, really made... Uh, made this very enjoyable so thank you and uh, I hope that everyone else enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy the video. I think the Brony community is really fun, really awesome. This is my fifth convention um, and I'm seeing familiar faces so people who I've seen at you know either BronyCon or Midwestry or Canterlot Gardens or um, Equestria LA, I, you know, I'm just I'm getting to know people um, which is fantastic. Some um, I, I had a little experience with um, an unexpected fan base with Powerpuff Girls. And so uh, while this is, you know, much bigger than the male audience that we had for the Powerpuff Girls, I kind of had a familiarity of having an audience that you don't expect. I think the Bernie community is awesome. I'm really pleased to um, be uh, around all of these people. I love the Bernie community. It's it's something that obviously like none of us ever expected, but uh, I was just talking to this guy actually just right here about all the amazing stuff that the Brony community does, the uh, insane amounts of charity money it raises, and how people come up and tell me I met my friend through this, and this you know the show is about friendship, and Lauren created this thing where um, Twilight's mission is to learn what that means, and that somehow on a show on a show nobody should by any rights should be watching on a network nobody gets infiltrated into uh, popular culture and it's, it's absolutely amazing that it's created real friendships in the real world uh, and I love that and coming to these things is, is awesome and I get to see that that's true I love the brony community 
Uh, what's your opinion on the Brony community? I think I've been involved in a lot of fandoms. It is one of, and you're gonna, and I, everybody probably says this, but I'm not saying anything new. Some of the most creative, genuinely sweet and nice people. Obviously, I mean, friendship is magic. It's a good, it's a good thing to tout to the world. But like, generally, like, full of artists, full of very, very creative musicians, writers. I mean, the whole. It's it's like it's un, untapped and it's unprecedented. It's really crazy. I love them. I love the Bronies. I think they're fantastic. Smile and I will brighten up your day. Yeah, it doesn't matter now if you're sad or blue. Because cheering up my friends is just what Pinky's here to do. Everybody! Because I love you. Smile, smile, smile. It's not you. It fills my heart with sunshine all the Turn that sad frown upside down. Everybody! Because I love to see a grin.